All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what's going to be the start of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed playthrough. Um, I recently bought the expansion pass, so there's going to be a ton of stuff, I'm sure, that will pop up for Xenoblade 3. Um, I, as you know, last year, this was basically my game of the year. Um, it was one of the, my, my most favorite playthroughs I've done on the channel. And, um, you know, I was very excited when they announced there was going to be a season pass, and they, you know, they showed the trailer um and stuff and it's going to be a massive tie-in to the backstory of this game and xenoblade one and two which is always awesome i'm very much looking forward to it so here we are i have the alternate title screen because i i've beaten the game there you go uh so to dlc so usually what they do is they let you immediately like they give it its own boot menu and everything so that's what we're gonna do maybe at some point in the future we'll come back and we'll, we'll play more of the base game and do more base game stuff but for right now i just want to hop into future redeem because it came out two days ago and i couldn't play it because i had real things to do and i hate it so i am late to it damn it and there wasn't really much i could do in fact my room is still a mess as i even say that because i was moving stuff around and being very efficient so all right future redeemed i don't think the options are going to be any different i think we'll be fine yeah i think it'll be good Normal. Difficult level could change any time. So now, it's nice because if you watched and played the base game, you already know what this is kind of going to be about. You know, the six legendary heroes of the city that I even said back then was like, well, they're, you know, they're big, important people. Some of them look like characters we've seen before, but we don't really know who they are. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, there was a lot of speculation and hype. So now we're finally going to get it. And it'll probably tie into Future Connected as well, which will be pretty interesting. Serge Sir and I, we tore that trailer apart. <laughs> Talking about it and getting hype. Wait, we why? got Console Z with us. Tell me why. We're off to Is a great start. Really what you want? <laughs> Albus! Surprise, motherfucker! It's me! Drop it, Chulk! Nothing's gonna get through to him! He's a heartless machine! We have to try! Fascinating. Is this how badly you wish to erase us? My god. Oh, he looks up to Alvis? Yeah, we were saying that Alvis might be Commander A. Or, uh, Console A. Because there was no Console A. To be fair, he is an Aegis, so that would make sense. He also has the ability to rewrite reality as well. <laughs> All right, this looks familiar. So unlike Torna, this will probably have like a completely a uh, mixture. It'll have a mixture of areas, you know? That'll be cool. This is what, the Bionis' leg, almost? Kind of fused with a couple other areas. Oh, shit! Yeah, he has the gauntlet! Oh, shit! Tough little so-and-so. Can't even seem to break it. I told you we should have left alone. But you had to stick your oar in, didn't you? She has... Aegis earrings, okay. Lecture me later, eh? I first things first. <sighs> You're impossible. This is crazy. It feels like the start of a brand new game, yeah. So we think that Matthew is uh Noah and Mio's son, basically. In Future Redeem, the right side of the arts pop contains a character's normal arts, while the left side is where you'll find their Ouroboros powers. Ouroboros powers manifest themselves through special arts, which are significantly more powerful than normal arts. Okay. Backspin punch. All right, well, this thing will be pretty easy. Oh, God, his attack speed's so low. Hey, guys. I mean, it's knockback, but this is a, a big enemy, so. Yeah, I didn't like knockback. I remember now. Like, I, I wasn't really sold on it at all. It wasn't very great, in my opinion, in the base game. 
It's mostly useful for cheesing, effectively. Can you still swap? No, not, not right now, no. Oh, yeah, I forget how you actually do it. All right, we'll just beat it just by hitting it. Don't worry, it was nothing. We need something meteor. <laughs> yeah, and a punch to the face. <sighs> Third rate Mobius arsewipe made us bloody work for it. What was that? That thing at the end? What thing at the end? You mean the Ouroboros power? Nice touch, eh? <laughs> what I'm asking is why you felt the need to use it at all. The scrap was already falling apart. I mean, that was a last chance to like kapow. Yeah, right? it's called fun. I had to make sure it's a good one. Leaves a bad taste otherwise the whole rest of the day. <sighs> oh, he's useless. Whatever. Mobius track it, you know. The Ouroboros power. You need to keep a lid on it, like I keep telling you. It was only a little whiff. All fine in the end. We won, so what's the damage? Now here come the super the bosses. The, the word you should have used is fewer. Grammar matters. You did it again. <sighs> Another day without any signals. Time to pack it in, then. Huh? After all our efforts, we've not met a single survivor from the city. Huh. Okay, so the city's already you destroyed. Me back yeah. Then. Remember? That we'd find every last citizen. Well, I'm not stopping. I won't quit. Not until I've done just that. Let's move on. Tomorrow will be our lucky day. I can feel it. Yeah, so I wonder what her relation is. Because Alvin, Alvis had the red uh, reality engine core. So she wears it as an earring and he still has it apparently. So what is it? Maybe split in two? Bro, it was a spicy couple of weeks immediately after that trailer. The Vermilion Woods. Okay. It'll be night soon. Let's cook. The fight earlier will have taken its toll. We should find somewhere to rest before sundown. Agreed. Also, I'm bloody starving. Let's camp round here for today. Alright. Or Boris Power. Uh, okay, it's the usual how to begin a battle draw your weapon. Okay, so this is they see they even specify that this is a future redeemed thing by making it a yellow sword. Okay Arts are stronger than auto attacks Okay, so that, that's all we only have one thing Okay, I'm trying to remember all the stuff So like for example Visions Ace Talon Art Vision has some special effects. Enemy attacks will not affect the party for a set time. The number of times you can use it per battle is limited. While Vision is in effect, Ace Talon Art changes to Vanishing End, an attack which hits all enemies. Like other Talon Arts, Vanishing End is also charged by performing roll actions. She's a healer, so okay. Vision is a powerful tool, but since its number of uses is limited, take care to use it when you'll get the most of it. ZLR, okay. Yeah, that's definitely like part of the Monado, for sure. It's kind of like what Shulk used to do back in the day. All right, here you go. Can we still merge? No, we can't. Okay. Again, we're only going to have bits and pieces, you know? It's not going to be exactly the same as the base game. If you didn't watch me when I played Torna or any of these other things and you have no idea what's happening. Uh, most of the Xenoblade DLCs kind of work together in that way. Leveling up is the only way to strengthen Matthew and his crew. Accomplishing affinity goals and spending affinity points they grant is another. 
Okay. Let's check the details of your affinity goals. Exploration. Okay, they're split into six categories and are achieved in the field and in battle. Achieving them grants affinity points, which can be spent to empower party characters. Earn affinity points by discovering treasure troves and locations in the various areas of the world and so on. Earn affinity points in battle by defeating unique monsters that inhabit locations around the world, among other ways. Earn affinity points by viewing events that can occur at various locations in the world of Ionios. These let you listen to the party's conversation while enjoying the view. Earn affinity points by meeting residents of various areas of Ionios and completing community tasks and uh, just to feed a set number of monsters and Collectopedia. You can highlight each node to see more information. Select the Enemypedia. Check those land wolves. You can see how many more you need to beat and what they draw. Oh my God! Dude! Why wasn't this in the base game? Oh, come on! I'm, I'm so... I, I wonder if they updated the base game to have that. Dude, this would have been so helpful back in the day. You have no idea. You have no idea. I spent so long looking for items. Ugh, dude, okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do. Damn, that, that kills me, man, inside. All right, we can't do anything else, okay. Monsters already registered in the Enemypedia will be marked with a yellow, while complete entries show a check mark. Unregistered monsters will not have either of those icons. If you spot a monster not marked with either of those icons, do try fighting it. Monsters that are higher level than you will be displayed in yellow. Those whose level is significantly higher than yours will be shown in red. And as you can see, the uh, name monsters will have the little wings. I, I guess they're... No, it's supposed to be like monster heads or something. Howl for help! Howl if you can hear me! Topple them! Area heal on hit, okay. Oh, she's got Shaker Edge, just like Shulk used to have. So yeah, she plays more like a... What was it, Kevis and Agnes? So she plays more like a... He plays more like what? And Agnes, yeah, he does. <laughs> he clocks the shit out of him. <laughs> Yeah! There you go. Done. Go make characters. Uh, make many characters affinity growth to use earned affinity points to make party characters stronger. Affinity points are shared by the entire party. Furthermore, only one tier purchase abilities will be available from the start. Specific items are needed to unlock further tiers. Try to consider the entire party's priorities as you decide which characters to empower and which skills to purchase. Okay, go to characters. Man, they really handhold you through this. Okay. What happens if I select... Ah, they don't let you. <laughs> okay. Choose learning skill attack plus. Increases attack by 30. What about critical? Okay, they don't, they don't let you do anything. Gotcha. Got a new skill. You can buy more nodes if you have the affinity points. The lock tiers can be opened by using unlock kits. So we get those later. Gotcha. All right, you can't look at anything. Gotcha. All right, so that's cool. Right off the bat, they're showing that they got some improvements, which I like. You know what I mean? This game, this is, dude, this is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. It's got everything, almost everything you would want from both games. You know what I mean? I love it. That's why I was actually really sad when I beat the game. I was like, man, I'm going to be fucked up, dude. Okay. You may discover locations in the world which can trigger an affinity scene. These allow you to admire the scenery while your companions enjoy a little chat. Okay, you can press ZR. Gotcha. See, the St. Omnia region we're in now. It's smack in the middle of Ionios, yeah? Yes, that assessment is correct. Right, so if we captured this area, couldn't we raid the other regions pretty much at will? This is the only place connected to the other four regions at once, Four right? regions, okay. Which means that conversely, it can also be attacked from all four sides. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. But I'll admit, 
that it does have the strategic value that you ascribe to it. It's an undeniable fact that both Kevis and Agnes are desperate to gain control of this region. The positional advantage of having access to all other regions may make the attendant risks more palatable. I see, I see. <laughs> what was that? Alright, alright. Very nice. Anything else? Okay. It really makes me wonder, like, what the next game that they're going to make is going to be. Because they said that they're not done with Xenoblade. Of course, that could mean anything, you know what I mean? Like, so who knows? Oh! Uh. I don't like his auto attacks. Bro, why the fuck did you join in? I'm killing this deer. Oh, shit. And I'm missing. Help! Oh, uh, what the fuck? Are you serious? We just started! Dude, we just started! Holy shit! How did this go so poorly already? You gotta be shitting me, man! Wow, that was fast as fuck! Yeah, you really need to have six people to actually do well in this game. How do you pull enemies in this? I don't remember. There's definitely a way to pull enemies, right? Lure up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, it's up, right? Because I remember making the comment that this is like Sword Art Hollow Fragment. What the hell's with this camera? Uh, I'm very scared. Are you zoomed? There you go. Yeah, this game you use six party members at once to fight. So as you can see, the combat is very slow when you don't have everyone with you. She definitely does not have it. Jeez, man. Thank you. Right. That takes care of that. That wasn't even a warm-up. But conversely, like when you're out of combat, there's no items to use, there's none of that. So all your abilities to heal are in combat only, basically. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> there you go. Get that fast break going on. That's a lot of damage right at the start. We also don't have a tank, to be fair. He's DPS. <clears throat> Bonk. Bonk. Come here, you. You know, they really probably should have re-explained lure just in case someone buys this. Is this a standalone DLC like Torna? It might not be, but you never know. Someone might say, oh, I just want to get into the new shit, and like not knowing how to lure could be really big. Which reminds me why I need to play Hollow Fragment at some point for the channel. Because I, I fucking love that game. I had so much fun playing that way back in the day. There you go. Broke him. He missed. Beat his ass. There you go. A knuckle bunnet. Don't worry, we'll be killing God soon enough. That's how Xenoblade is all the time. Wow, I punched its head off. Nice. I could have done that one-handed. Yeah, the lure intentionally only does one damage, by the way. So what's nice is that if you actually exit combat completely, all your cooldowns reset. So you don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, hit him please. Okay, very good. The outcome was patently obvious. Alright. She says a lot of things that like Mio would say a little bit, right? No, painfully obvious. I think uh Tyon says that. I take that back. I'm wrong about that. They thought this would slow us down. <laughs> that wasn't it's even a, a rabbit. Wait, what? I don't think it's thinking about anything other than food. Okay. 
Well, in here. What lurks inside, I wonder? Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be killing this dude. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe once we get a tank and maybe a couple other people, then sure. All right. Not right now. What is going- man, I got serious USB problems, I'm sorry. Alright. Okay, what is- what the fuck is going on? Let me- this stupid hard drive, man, has been giving me issues for the last, like, year and a half, and I'm actually gonna be done with it. Yeah, thank you, goodbye. Nah, I'm not dealing with that. Try to fix it, and, and it fucks up. No, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, affinity goals. Good luck with all this. I mean, at least they show you what you've seen already, right? They check it off. So, let me, um, let's upgrade, I guess. What does she have? Because I, I'd like to maybe get some good arts or something, right? What does this change? Light field. Oh, field of range effect small. So it makes a bigger circle is what it does. Okay. Heals near my allies to a maximum of 100% of your healing power. Um, this gives a, a bigger multiplier and less recharge. Uh, maybe Lost Ray, Frontward AoE, or Skyfoil, right? So right now she knows what? Shaker Edge, which is your topple, which I guess we, if we could reduce that, that's like her biggest hit, right? Um... Cause this is not gonna boost her healing at all. Starting a battle from an attack from the side grants the whole party decoy. Heal self when auto attack hits up to a maximum of 100% of healing power. Healing ally boosts damage dealt by 10%. All right, and for Matthew, like, uh, what else? Flashing fist, chained auto attacks increase attack speed. Auto attack interval is also shortened. Yeah, that might be the one to get then. Yeah, let's get that. I, must be some kind of I hate to upgrade him twice, but that way he'll he'll start to attack a little bit faster. Let's you see. Matthew, don't break formation. Do you notice it? I think I notice it a little bit. Like they said, it's a minor effect. It's nothing that serious, but it'll help. It'll give him more DPS. The outcome was patently obvious. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I ran to the bush. Amazing. All right. This will be a good place for a rest. Night has caught up with us. We had better make haste setting up camp. I actually really like this area. The red is really cool. Yeah, console and Matthew. Granddad! Take care of Nael. The future. Granddad! It's in your hands. Matthew. Yeah, that's why he slaughtered the entire city. Holy shit! <laughs> well, that's one hell of a thing to experience. Panting, running for dear life. Oh, what a subtitle. <laughs> oh, sounds like they're having a party over there.
Uh oh. These are basically like the fog beasts, more or less. Yeah. So maybe Alv is split into two. You have A and then I guess whoever that is. Or he has the daughters, which would be interesting. The sky, Matthew. Suppose I should thank you then for letting me sleep in. Sleeping on the ground. I've never seen anyone make it look quite so comfortable. I worry. Grandad and I did a lot of camping out. Back when I was a kid, I mean. It don't bother me. Okay. Huh? A signal? Let's go! What's that signal? Ping from a city iris. Come on, hey! Really, like, first thing in the morning? Matthew's handheld terminal is called the X-Reader. It responds to signs of safe survivor presence, notifying you with sound and light. When a signal is detected, a notification chime will sound, and one side of the minimap will light up. As you head in the indicated direction, get closer to your target, the entire rim will glow. As you get closer, the chime will come louder, more frequent. Can we even do anything at a camp right now? Tend to your personal needs, everyone. Level up, I guess. Nah, okay, so the way this game works is that the more you fight and the more you do stuff, you gain bonus experience, basically. And you could use this banked experience to just get extra levels, pretty much. That's how it works. Time to depart yet again. A most uncommon item. It's actually a really, uh, a really nice system in a lot of ways. Uh. Okay, I was about to say, am I stuck already? <laughs> oh yeah, there's no sprint. It's just auto run in this game. I totally forgot about that. All right. A Morg Crabble. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Bonk. Anyway. This dude is the most hood character we've gotten so far. He just punches people. All right, give me your best shot. Unerringly bold. I mean, he does have the gauntlet, so maybe we'll figure out where uh, what was it? Lucky Seven came from as well. Needless to say, I wouldn't play this or watch this unless you've seen the base game. Um, and then I also wouldn't watch it unless you've seen the other previous games as well. Just saying. Because I, I'm going to be talking about everything that's happened up to now. Every game that's happened. Because even though this is technically a prequel to Xenoblade 3, you definitely want to play this after Xenoblade 3. Because there's a lot of stuff in here that's just flat spoilers for Xenoblade. Even, even so far, there's flat spoilers. Hell, the trailer was a goddamn spoiler if you know what you're looking at. <laughs> Could have done that one -handed. It makes me wonder if the Fog Beast was actually related to Alvis, you know? Because that was the same color, and that was one thing right. I said in Future Give Connected. I was shot. like, well, wait a minute, what the fuck does the Fog Beast have to do with anything? You know, it just kind of shows up and just doesn't really do much, and that's it. And then it leaves, and that was a miss. Oh well, whatever. Right. That takes care of that. That wasn't even a warm-up. Way ahead of you. So I think that's interesting. Freak. I like how, it, I guess it was future connected, so it would lead directly into this, you know? Because it technically takes place after the end of Xenoblade 1 and 2. So maybe the Fog Beast is like Alvis, or like maybe, I want to say it's a backup program of Alvis, because I don't believe Alvis was lying when he said to Shulk, like, yeah, the future's yours, I don't care anymore. Like, whatever you want is what you get. I don't believe he was lying, so I want to believe, like, maybe there's, like, some backup program inside of him or, or something else that's, like, you know, messing with it. You know what I mean? Because I believe he was perfectly content to just let the future be Shulk's and then not care, you know? God damn! I'm going in. You lot watch my back. Matthew, don't push formation. Bonk. But how? Revolt 
I mean, I guess it's available quite frequently, so that could be good all on its own. Alright. So, what else can we upgrade? Let's see. Not enough. We only have 15. Revolt Uppercut. Evades and boosts damage when cancelled at 35%. Boosts damage when attacking from the front. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Oh, he gets power charge. Oh, but it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, it's just a buff. I mean, that could be good. Yeah, so we get break knockback. 30% chance to ignore defense on a pretty good power multiplier. Wait, I'm sorry. He gets what? Wait, hold on. Oh, no, you just get all your arts. So in the base game, you can learn up to five abilities on each class, and then you set three of those to be your active abilities, and then on the left side of the screen, you set your your uh, side objectives from other classes, side abilities. There's a whole system in the base game. Go watch that if you're interested. But in this game, it just seems like you just get extra abilities on both the left and the right, a little bit of each. All right. I don't know why we have to initiate from the side, but uh, maybe we'll hold off. We'll, we'll probably buff her next. Heals her when an auto attack hits could be good. What's our map look like? Okay. Really kind of unfortunate there's no sprint. Ah! Game. Uh, how are they doing? Clearly not too well. Judging by the wounds, it probably wasn't Mobius. Probably monsters. Caught him unawares. I'm sorry. This is my fault. If I woke you up, we might have made it. <gasps> it isn't your fault, eh? I shouldn't have been dozing like a div. We could have helped you, friend. I'm sorry. And now we'll forget about you. Alright, so the first one was a bust. It's just to show you how it works. Matthew, are you alright? Yeah, dandy. I mean, I'm not. But right now, we gotta keep moving. Oh, they want me to go this way? Oh, yeah, you can't go any further. Okay. We'll try to, you know, defeat as many enemies as we can on the way around, you know. To see what we can do. So we got a couple of these. I wonder if any of these are the, uh, the war machines that we saw in the game. The base game, I should say. <laughs> Parried his ass. Uh oh. Hold those positions. They get through. Left flank, good as snuff. Yeah. It's crazy how no one else was ever good with that longsword besides uh, lands. you take your helmet off in the middle of combat all right i guess we won that am all the right flank's been scoured pretty clean only thing left is the feronis in the rear right back to the main unit then <gasps> Kavesi. it's a miracle there's any left standing uh-oh what's wrong with him why is he unarmed <laughs> not even a blade or nothing Look at his little face. <laughs> It'll be great to slaughter him. <laughs> Make it quick. We can't afford to waste time on a runt like him. 
All right, anyway. Huh? Explosions? A battle? Yes. It would seem that someone's fighting up ahead. Remnants? It could be. The sounds and the shaking. I'd say it's rather major. <sighs> hey, Matthew. I'll go check it out. Don't be a hero. If the skirmish is nothing to do with us. Leave it well alone, yeah? I know the drill. Yeah, they're not yeah. really supposed to intervene not in this. My breath. But whatever. This is just back There's when there no were more way. of them. Can't afford to be late. They could afford to do oh, stuff like this. What is this symbol supposed to be? Oh, you know why? He's below me. That's right. We're, we're above where we were before. Right. Ah, I, I canceled it wrong. I thought my hit was going to come out sooner than that. Well, some of these characters that we just saw kind of look like other characters we know of from the base game, you know? Which I think is cool, because I didn't really use either of them when I played the game. <laughs> Pretty much the end of my playthrough is just me using one character in particular. Uh, I won't say to break the game. I think it's a very viable strategy. It's very nice. Probably an oversight, but oh well. Too late. Too late to take back. I beat the game like seven months ago. Okay. Alright, let's go see what's going on. Yeah, because it's right here. Yes, it's close. Be vigilant, Matthew. <sighs> what is that? That weapon. Ha <laughs> ha! He murdered them both. Yes. I was hiding for your advantage. <sighs> what? Dude, how many fucking reality cores are going around here? What's happening? Oh, that's going to be great for him. Ooh. Pretty much. We, we take this one. How? So long as we can hold the flanks. The colony will mop up. New armament. All went as planned. Yep. Everyone getting slaughtered when it's planned. Curtains. Shut up! Whoa. Flipping close one. I thought you said you knew the drill. Hold back. It looks to be a feud between colonies anyway. Over there. Yeah, these two. <laughs> just having some fun, you know, nothing major. It's just those two left. It's the most no random characters, too. No one. Mutual destruction. The battle has already come and gone. Then why are they still fighting? It's just who they are. Nothing for us to get involved with. Pull back. Mobius will notice. No, nope, oh, anyway. Come on. <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand aside. They're only kids. I'll put an end to it. I have to. Mobius are always present for the aftermath. Then that Mobius is getting a socking. Both of them. Then I'll make it a twofer. What a great <sighs> line of thinking. You're gonna get us both killed. All right, 
Break it up! The hell are you two playing at? You wanna scrap? You scrap with me! This would be the most random shit imaginable, but yeah, he can break them out of the, the flame clock. It's a whole plot line about that. I told you to cut it out. Yeah, and you. Now kiss and make up. Phenomenal. Now you've gone and done it. I guess words ain't getting through to him. Odd. You've such a way with words. Oh, thanks. If they won't listen, I'll make them listen with my fists. His whole character is literally, oh, I will punch God. someone until they understand. <laughs> Why do I have to work with the Desperate Agnian. All right. In future, redeem the art of fighting with the power of Ouroboros hasn't been perfected yet, but using fusion art summons the power to create an aura dealing extra attacks. The effects of extra Ouroboros attacks differ based on the normal art and Ouroboros power combination. Okay. So, like, for example... What, don't I have to wait? Alright, am I actually dying? Right? Because we have to we have to wait for this to... Yeah, give both fully charged. Okay. Yeah, it's ZR. I remember now. I thought it was ZL for a second. So we just have to wait. Alright, here we go. Alright, now we can beat the shit out of him. <laughs> what? Oh shit! Ah! Topple! I'm launched! Help! Was I broken or did he just auto launch me? <laughs> That's so funny, man. Just out of nowhere. This is the, this is the start of the game! <laughs> it's like a it's like the middle of the game. Oh, let me try and tank this guy, I guess. I don't know if I can. Okay. Yeah, so usually what happens is that Agnes based classes are, are really good. Here we go. Charge all arts on hit. Looks like the talent arts are going to be way more tactical in this. Anyway, they're, they're not really supposed to defeat you. You probably have to really try to lose this fight. <laughs> wow. Anyway. I'll break it a billion times. <laughs> Chill out, will you? They're both at the end of their terms. What? What are you, goon? I was beginning to think you'd never ask. Uh -huh. I'm Matthew, from the city. And this is A. City? Huh? I guess you lot would probably think of us as enemies. But we're your allies. In a sense. Our allies? Our real enemy... It isn't each other. Huh? huh? Here. Right on cue. All right, now you'll need your weapons. Nice of our real enemies to drop by. You just sit tight while we take care of them, all right? Trust me on this one. <gasps> Makes me wonder why they never had a set of weapons hey, like that now. before. What do you think you're doing? The show was just getting good. And you fully screwed up our wager to boot. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I spoil your fun? You really are a bunch of sickos, you lot. He doesn't seem like a soldier. Who are you? <laughs> Who else could he be? My iris. <laughs> Check it. And yeah. What in the... Uh, or a bar. A city refugee? Mobius Hunter? Mobius Hunter? You what? 
Wait, is that what they call us these days? No idea. I don't recall hunting any. Just cleaning up the mess you always end up making, bailing you out of trouble. Exactly. Yeah, wait, what? Okay, anyway. Those two kids over there, they're in our custody now. Custody, you say? <laughs> you sound like you think you can take us on! This mighty pairing of Mobius two and all! Yeah, the, the Medusa head seems familiar. I feel like that was a character in all, the base game, but I don't know. Nickname. The Mobius Hunters. All right, anyway. Obviously, they, they don't have any of the powers that they would need to really do some damage. Dude, the haymakers are so good, dude. <laughs> I, I love this guy. This character's great. Whoop. Oh, slap. Oh shit, ow. Thank you. What? Yeah, I, I pressed that way earlier. Holy shit. Knock back. Oh my god. Okay. Well, Q got fucking bodied, dude. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Wow! What was that? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he's the most satisfying character to play as. <laughs> this is the All right. Yeah. Fusion arts. Okay. Basically, you use fusion arts. It does a lot of fucking damage. That's all we need. That's what we need to know. Obviously, they're still figuring out their powers at this point in history as well. Right, anyway. Just don't do anything you'll regret. Now suplex them. I have to keep an eye on the time. We basically are out of time. God All damn it. Right. We just gotta smash the core, and the jobs are good. Whoa, 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 wait! My beloved soldier. He isn't paying attention to you. It's your chance to strike. On my mark. Attack. Hmm. No! Gee, thanks. After everything I did for you. There's no need to fight me. <laughs> That's right, you play your little game of tag. We'll just pop back home. And once we're healed up, we'll Yeah, nice, thank you. I don't normally stoop to this. But I clean up. Such duplicity is beneath me. Stabbed in the back! What a how ironic. Anyway. Yeah, what an idiot, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Bro, we have like five different designs for the Monado. I love it. Dude, she's cool as fuck, man. Truly beautiful. Yeah, now they're fully freed. I forgot how the stages of it works. Just one thing after another, innit? I'm sure you're feeling pleased with yourself. But I wish you'd spare a thought for me as well. 
You realize, all this takes a toll on me. I know, I know. <laughs> There's a job well done. <laughs> Bro fist. Don't worry though, they'll just make more. They can just make as many consoles as they want. You coward. Phenomenal. There we go. What I tell you, one of us should have watched them. You also told me you wanted us to secure as much food as possible. Huh. So, ideas? <laughs> oh, very well. I'll handle it. Whoa, well, like, what was he doing? Why do you have to hit him? Right, time out. <laughs> what? That'll He's defending himself. You Your fighting days are over. What? The Mobius, or uh, I guess you'd call them the consoles, right? Well, they're dust in the wind. The flame clocks are in pieces. And your iris clocks, they're gone, aren't they? Yeah, you're Ouroboros now. <laughs> Welcome to the you're crib. Done. No need to fight anymore. No need to take life or fear its loss. You're not serious. Give it a couple of days for it to sink in. Your life stopped draining. And that means you don't have to fight. All you're going to need now is a bite to eat. Holy shit. Ah, they, ch <laughs> they chopped that shit up. Nice. Go on. It's delicious. Wow, aren't we stubborn? It's your loss. Why did you do that? Huh? I was so close! I was so close to finally coming home! I'm not sure I follow. My offering! I was going to give my life! For my comrades killed by this filth! If I could just make it home! It would mean something! That... That's the only thing I've ever wanted! To fight! To come home! And you... You... Took it... <laughs> anyway, food's pretty this good. This fight of yours... Who was it that forced it upon you? <sighs> Think about it. You have all the pieces. Nicole and... Glimmer, right? Okay, I couldn't You're read that. Starving. Can't think straight on an empty tongue, eh? Now, if you're wondering why it's very specific that they literally had a complete stalemate and no one survived, that's actually addressed in the base game. The consoles frequently fight so that way both sides get completely eradicated. That is intentional. That is not like an oversight or a weird coincidence. It's actually kind of crazy they mentioned that in the base game and here you actually get to see it happen. Like perfectly, down to the last person. Alright, anyway. Dude, she's like a ninja samurai. It's, she knows everything, man. Alright, anyway, I don't care. If she dies, she dies. Sure, let's save. Alright, so you get a couple of save files for this. That's fine. Um, the only thing that sucks, guys, is unfortunately I only had an hour to play, roughly, give or take. So I do have to stop. I, I've been busy this whole middle of the week. I have been busy. If this had come out on Monday, I would have had a ton of time to play it. It comes out on Tuesday. I'm busy all day Tuesday. It comes out on Wednesday. I was literally out on Wednesday, like yesterday. And today I have to raid and stream and do other stuff. So I will play more of this tomorrow. Um... I will not be playing Jedi Survivor. I will be playing this. So by the time you see this video, I will be playing more of this. Well, not by the time you see it, but shortly thereafter, I'll be playing more of this. I'll probably try to get in a couple hours, stream. Then Saturday, I'll play more of it. And then we'll play uh, Jedi Survivor, pretty much. All right, so there you go. There you go, nice. All right, so next time we play, we'll actually have a big full-on session.